time to show you something that I've been hiding for about a week or two. I don't know how long it's been, but I'm pretty excited. We're in the Z, there's a garage. Let's go check it out. So I have good news and I have bad news. Bad news is I painted the skyline and it looks terrible. Good news is it's not actually my skyline. Well, technically it is, it's just not my white one. This is my barn fine skyline. And I say barn fine because it was literally kind of in a barn. And it is a total nightmare, kind of. It looks good from like 10, 15 feet away, as you can tell, I mean on camera. It looks pretty good. It's got GTR style over fenders. They're D-Max, I believe. I saw the logo on this side underneath. So that's kind of cool, all JDM. GTR fiberglass fenders, which is also kind of cool because I need those for the white skyline. And it has an OEM GTR front bumper, which I think is the N1 front bumper. I could be mistaken, but that bumper alone is insanely expensive. So that saved me a ton of money. I say that, I spent a ton of money on a car, but overall, look at it. I have another Skyline. I don't know what's wrong with me. Apparently I have this weird thing to where if I own one vehicle and I like it, I have to own two or more. I say more because, or I say four because I have owned four Subarus at one point and now I have two Skylines so I just need to collect two more and then I'd be exactly like I was last time, I guess? I don't know. I'm gonna show you kind of everything about this car, the good, the bad, the ugly, and right now we have the hood pop so I can change the coil packs because right now it's arcing or misfiring and it came with free coil packs so we're gonna work on installing those, I guess. I don't know, let me kinda do that, show you that process, and then I'll show you everything that's wrong with it and tell you the plans on why I bought another one. I did get it for a really, really good price. That's the only reason why I bought it. It worked, I sold my Subaru, and I sold my 350, which let me buy this. So, yeah, kinda all worked out. 370, meet Nismo Juke. Nismo Juke and 370, meet your great, great, Oh, oh, he started it. It does have a muffler, by the way. It's just not on at the moment. I was being held on by one bolt, so we took it off already. I would show you underneath, but we just lowered it. There's nothing really crazy under there, other than the fact that it has Cusco coilovers, which are insanely expensive, so that's awesome. It has a ton of good parts on it, which makes me feel really good about the purchase. I was worried about it, now I'm feeling a little bit better, now that we're actually kind of looking at it, so yeah. Anyway, I gotta get the camera stuff out, so I can start working on coil packs. Uh, one, my girlfriend is probably the worst. I, I, First part off, you might ask yourself, do I know what I'm doing? Answer that question, absolutely not. I'm all self-taught here. I just see things, I feel like I need to remove it, and I'm gonna remove it. Do we wanna do a compression test while we're here? Damn. Are they labeled one, two, three, four, five, and six? That's cool, they are. This is not a factory harness. I like it. If the other one is metal like this, if the RB26 one's metal like this, I love that. So I can go get powder coated. What happened? Please tell me there's nothing wrong. Like, just does, you just undid my fucking bolt, didn't you? Yeah. That's how fucking loose it was. That's depressing. I'm glad you didn't drive this back. Me too. Yeah, that's. I fingered it off. You fingered it off. He said that. I said that. <laughs> Wait, you know what I mean? 
Fuck. I dropped the eight mil. Really? Yes. The eight mil? Yes. I found it. Do you have a magnet? I do. Wait. I got it. I got it. It's cool. If the 10 mil would be gone forever. It's an 8 mil, we're good. I got it. Butt plugs. Let's get those spark plugs, Nugget. With this being kind of a barn find skyline, I want to go ahead and do a compression test while we replace the oil max. So, yeah. Never done this before. I've no clue what I'm doing at all. But as long as I see about 150, I think, I think we're good. Hello. Okay, goodbye. Like right at 100, not even. 100, maybe 110. 110, yeah. I don't think that's correct. I'm pretty sure it should be closer to 150, or leave at least 130. So maybe not so good engine, not so healthy. I don't know. I think what we're gonna do, do one cylinder at a time. We have cylinder one, so we're gonna put the spark plug back in. I don't necessarily think it's gapped correctly, but it was running just fine with it in there, kind of, sort of. In a way, probably not, because compression numbers are terrible. So I'm gonna put it back in there with the new coil pack. Then we're gonna do cylinder two, test it, and see if the numbers match. If they're all close to like 110, then maybe it's okay. But again, I think it should be closer to 130 to 150. I don't know though. I feel like my other one when it was tested was at 140, 150. RB25? Who knows? <laughs> And what brand are these? NP Boosted? Yeah. Is that good? I don't know. Oh. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Cylinder 2 test, let's go. Ready? Yeah. About, about 115. All right, cylinder three. You're good whenever. Hold. 110. Cylinder four. Stop. 115. 110. That good. And cylinder five test. Go ahead. Hit it! Stop. 110, 110. wrapping up everything here we did actually raise up the intercooler piping a little bit because it was hitting the fan and the fan shroud so I'm hoping that's not gonna happen again because if not that'll kind of damage and destroy everything so we're looking good now we can go ahead and start it it was working before as you heard so I guess let's test it again see if we messed up anything I doubt it very good Well, now it's not idling, so that's good. Broken! Yay! Yay! We you know, did it. Plug in, right? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I, I mean, they have one, two, three, four, five, and six, so. Interesting. Okay. Alright, he was just feeling around over here and we found a vacuum leak on the throttle body, so we're hoping that's kind of... Yeah, it goes to uh, these little spider lines that run over here. Okay. Everything else seems connected. I didn't touch any of that, so that's good. There might be a split in this one. 
this here? Yeah. Okay. So we're hoping it's just a vacuum leak, but we could be wrong. I mean, we really didn't do much besides change coil packs and check compression and put the spark plugs back, so I don't know. A few moments later. We did happen to find a few more vacuum leaks, and I think that's actually what it's going to be. There's one that I don't think we can get to right now, so I'm just gonna leave it where it's at. Uh, I'll see if I can show you kind of where we found it. It's like somewhere in that general vicinity. I think, I think it's where it might be this hose here. Yeah, it's a good possibility. Is that hose? Because that's where we sprayed ether and it like yeah, started right here to idle just fine. So it's a big possibility. We didn't touch that, so I don't know why it didn't do that before and it's doing it now. But it's running okay. It's rough, just not idling. So hopefully we can get that taken care of at some point. But I guess the good, the bad, and the ugly. Good, as mentioned earlier, has GTR fiberglass fender, which is also kind of bad because their fiberglass are kind of crap. The front bumper is, like I said, OEM. That's good. It does have GTSD corner lights, which technically I need for my white one because my other one broke. Uh, the hood's garbage. It's absolutely terrible. The headlight wasn't working, and by that I mean it wasn't plugged in, so my brother fixed that. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Hood pins are absolutely terrible. Hate that. So I want to do a new GTR hood or GTR style hood. Preferably OEM because I like it better. Side skirts will actually work really well because I'm planning on doing the Rocket Bunny style kit on this instead of on my white one. And that's because it already has everything kind of drilled out. It's already cut. So I'm going to pull this panel off, pull those panels off, use those for the white one, on clean this one up a lot. Do what? Can we start it on all fours? Sure, I guess so. I mean, it's still sitting on blocks of wood, but. Yeah. Uh, it has an OEM rear spoiler, which is awesome. This is actually really durable. Might take that for the white skyline. Bad. The window trim up here is coming off. Same thing on that side. It's got a little bit of rust in the quarter. Not so bad on this side, but this side especially. Oops, sorry, pardon me. So it's just terrible here. There's a bunch of Bondo uh, rust. Again, same window issue there. Bondo all through here. Tail light cover coming off. Holes in the trunk from the GCSC spoiler. This is all damaged. I was hoping that was going to be in better condition than mine, but it's not, and that's okay. I can always get new ones of that. But basically, from what I've learned on this car, it was definitely a drift car in Japan. This is exactly as it came from Japan. Even the wheels, they're JDM. Can't find these in the States unless they were shipped over. So that's kind of cool. They're 17 by 10. The tires on them are 215s in the rear, which is absolutely terrible, and 225s on the front, which doesn't make sense to me. This side skirt has a little bit of damage, but it's all stuff that I can kind of work around and fix and play with and learn on. So that's kind of why I bought it, just as a good learning car, I guess. Interior-wise, it's exactly like mine, except mine is in much better condition. The seat is much more comfortable. I wish it didn't have the tear in there. I might go get this reupholstered and you know, looking a lot better, but I really, really like the seat. Doesn't have the radio, so that kind of sucks. But it does have new e-brake boots and shifter boot, which I'm probably gonna take. I hate this, well, this is stupid. Like this I hate this, this is dash. stupid, and also the hole in it. Uh, a little bit of tears in the dash, big bubble in the dash, window thingy, hole over there. Yeah, interior's not the best by any means, but hey, it is right-hand drive, steering wheels, garbage. And like I said, I got it for a pretty good deal. I mean, it's for a Skyline, it's really, really not bad. It could be better, but for a learning car and playing with it, teaching myself how to do wide body stuff, I think it's gonna be a good thing, I hope. So expect to see more of this car, less of the white car. I mean, they'll probably still show the white car, but that one is gonna get the full, or this one's gonna get the full Rocket Bunny kit on it. And I'll do all the body work myself with help, obviously, because I have no clue what I'm doing. But yeah, just have to fix the vacuum leak and then we'll be good to go, I think. So yeah, everybody, welcome the new Skyline to the channel. I know it's extra, but it's good to have two so I can learn and keep the other one nice and clean, I guess. I don't know. How do you feel about it? She's definitely rough around the edges. I mean, but, from over here she looks good. You can't even see her on camera because of stupid yeah, no, light, but... Oh, hey, my Z. I mean, it, it looks it looks decent from 10, 15 feet away. You just don't look at the the whole car as a whole. Oh, the paint is absolutely terrible. Yeah, he mentioned paint runs. Paint is terrible. There is, like, dents. You can kind of see them up there. So, PDR up here. 
PDR and the whole roof basically. Pull that off, fix the cuts on the fenders. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Probably not. Yeah, no, it's too dark. But the cut inside the quarter panel is just, it's not good. But it's a good project car. This one would be a lot, I don't want to say nicer, but it, I would feel better cut into this one than I would cut into your other one. Yeah, exactly. And I do like these wheels, the, uh, what are they, Workmeister, you know, knockoff kind of look. Stance Magic. Yes. I just like that look. Yeah. I do too. Oh, my ESR wheels that I have for the white one, they may go on this with the Rocket Winnie kit, which kind of bums me out because I really wanted those for the white car, but they might work better on this car anyway. So, that being said, I might have to get another set of wheels for the white car that actually fit the car instead of being extra wide and rub everything. So, I'll have to figure that out too and actually take some measurements to figure out exactly what I want. Maybe we can do legit wheels, I doubt it, because I don't have the money to do legit wheels, but it would be really nice. I could do TE37s like everybody else on the planet. I love them, but I also hate them because the fact that everybody does them, but I digress. Well, my camera is dying, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. That's a wasp in the camera. Oh my God, hello, goodbye, leave me alone, thank you. Uh, that's it for now. I'll probably update you again when I bring it to the house, uh, depending on how I edit this video. And if not, then uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new. All right, later.